And I think one of the outcomes of this meeting has been really to look at the different reports that have been produced and to try and draw synergies and, and, and identify what's in common in those. So we've made progress in that direction, I think some, some exciting commonalities, uh, but what we do about them um, requires a little more thought. I, I was hoping to draw those commonalities that I've, I've just mentioned. Um, for example, uh, there is widespread agreement that one of the key issues in the use of ICTs and technology is the need for governments to operate holistically. So you've got to have the finance minister talking to the health minister, talking to the infrastructure minister, etc. Um, and, and it's good that we've identified that as something, but we now need to decide, okay, what are we going to do? And, and yeah, to jump the gun a little bit, I'd love to see us working with regional organisations. So if there's a, a meeting of the African Union or, or regional groupings, that we could perhaps have a day session there beforehand or afterwards when we've got yeah, leading government officials and, and actually tell them why this is important and have models of, of what to do about it. I think a second area that, that there was pretty much agreement on is actually there's not that much really good monitoring and evaluation. So if we can encourage anybody embarking on this to actually be open and honest about what the successes are, what hasn't worked well, but also what has worked well. And we, we, we can actually say, okay, this, these things are essential if you're going to deliver on quality education, not just you know, roll everybody out with a tablet. I, lots of people are doing that, but we've got very little really good concrete evidence of you know, what you have to do to make sure that the quality of learning improves because ultimately it's the development impacts that matter not the technology. The CTO has 53 uh, of the world's countries, a third of the world's people. So we can actually be, uh, and I, yeah, we can be a vehicle through which some of these ideas can be disseminated very much more rapidly. And we held a meeting of the Commonwealth ICT ministers, you know, the first ever in March this year, and were able to apply some of the emerging ideas on mobile learning into the uh, communique report that came out of that ministers. ICT ministers have identified education and ICTs as being one of their top priorities. And amazingly, in a, in a two-day summit, we, we actually got them to agree a document on, on what should be in ICT education policies, strategies, and, and so, so that's the way um, you know, we work closely. And it's always good to meet people from a multi-stakeholder environment. Um, that can make decision making sort of slightly tricky, but uh, no, it's, 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 it, it, it is an important initiative and uh, you know, the ITU you know, very much leading on many aspects of the WISIS process, development's important there. Um, and and yeah, as, as I think I've, we've said before in discussions, uh, if we don't focus on the impact of ICTs for the poorest and the most marginalised, then the world is going to get more unequal. And, and that is not only morally wrong, but it's politically dangerous. Identifying the commonalities, that, that was definitely a, an output. I think there's a strong commitment of people here to do something. Uh, and, and I can actually, I mean, uh, Brahim Asanu has emphasised, you know, this is our initiative. So, yeah, I, I think one of the things that may well happen is you know, three or four of us may get together to do one thing, uh, another five will do something else, uh, and we will carry these, these things forward. Um, I, I think all of us pretty much know each other over many years anyway, uh, and, and uh, it's, it's, it's up to us to actually make it happen. Um, so it's, yeah, I, I, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, we, 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 we have to do more uh, because We've written the reports, they're good, but uh, I don't want them just to lie on the shelves as, or, or in some digital archive somewhere. Um, we, we need to share them through our own avenues, and I'm sure well, we're, we're doing so, but uh, I, I, you know, I look forward to something I've spoken with the staff here about, is how we might yeah, actually have examples of good practice on the Empire and Development site. So we, we draw people there. You know, if you're interested in uh, mobiles for health, mobiles for learning, you know, the, these are the top five case studies that you could look at. I mean, that's uh, certainly something the CTO does with our, with our site in our, our priority areas. It, it's very easy to do. Um, but, but people don't know enough of what the good examples are, and, and, and it's good to draw on those. So, yeah, there are lots of positive things, but um, we still need to turn that rhetoric into reality. <laughs>